how do you navigate to be a black boy, not just a black boy, a black Zimbabwean in the first team of South Africa? I think, uh, you know, uh, I'd say in, in, in the beginning, um, um, yes, the, there was uh, a lot of that, you know, um, a lot of division. You know, especially you know, with the black people saying that they're not well represented in the national team. And, uh, I think it actually like you know um, uh, drove me to becoming uh, a better player because I knew that I was representing pretty much the whole of Black South Africa. So I had to really work harder. Uh, yeah, than you know my opposition or guys that were different color that were trying to you know, play in the same position as myself. So I made sure that I just put my head down and not really listen to the negative comments in the media because it was something that was like the elephant in the room always being spoken about. So I kind of just had a ton of vision and just focused on you know, my job and did my, my job exceptionally well. And that's what kept me in the team. Uh, and then uh, now, you know, I would say the, the team has moved, you know, towards a uh, um, much you know better direction in terms of representation you can see now we've got a black captain the first black captain ever see a police and uh, you know that is just united nation in so many ways and there's so many good black youngsters coming you know that are coming onto the scene now and uh, you know just deserve unmarried to play for the box so i'd say like you know the whole perception that was there has kind of changed it's moved away from that now to actually becoming a team that represents the nation.